they prevent the real economy from being created, and they and they permanently create more and more unemployment. And as more and more resources are transferred to the government, you know, when they get government jobs, government most government uh, employees don't produce anything. They live off the productivity of the rest of us. But the more private sector jobs they destroy, the harder it is to support the government sector. And if you keep growing government at the expense of the private sector, eventually the whole thing collapses because you're, you've got the pyramid upside down. You have to have a strong private sector to support a smaller public sector. But when that starts to reverse, the whole thing implodes, and that's where we are right now. I know it's by five minutes of running up. So what, what, what my pledge to the people in this room or the people of the state of Connecticut is if you actually elect me to the United States Senate, I'm going there for a reason. Right? I'm not going there to get reelected. I'm not even going to try to get reelected. I'm not going to spend any of my time trying to get on the right committees or meet the right people so I can raise money to get reelected. I don't think we have time. I think I've got six years, and if I can't help solve these problems in six years, they're going to grow to such an enormous proportion that they're not going to be solvable. So I'm going to go there and actually do what everybody else just talks about doing. And it might just start off as me by myself against 99 other senators. But I think I have the background, I think I have the track record of understanding economics. I mean, right now, people in Washington that are following these Pied Pipers of Doom, people like uh, Ben Bernanke or Timothy Geithner, who have never gotten anything right in their entire careers. And I can document what they've said and how wrong they've been. And I can probably convince them to listen to somebody who's gotten it right, as opposed to people who have gotten it wrong. And try to get the other senators to understand that this is the time where they have to put their country above themselves. And I know that for a lot of people in this room who have voted Republican, and I've you know, voted Republican in the past, and I've voted a Libertarian, and sometimes I haven't voted, because I get very frustrated, because we keep electing Republicans, and they, and they govern like Democrats the minute they get to Washington, because they like it there, and they want to stay there. But I don't want to go there, but I feel I have to go there, and I'm going there for a reason. And I know a lot of times when you go into the voting booth, and you get a Republican, you get a Democrat, you know, you hold your nose and you vote for the Republican because he's not as bad as the Democrat. Well, what I'm going to give you is a chance to actually vote for somebody. If I, if I have the nominee of, of this party, no one is going to be going to the polls to vote against uh, the Democrat. They're going to be going to the polls to vote for me. And I think of all the people in this race, I think I, act, I have the best chance of actually winning it. And anyway, thanks, everybody. And You know, I've got over 17,000 people that have donated to my campaign. I've got a lot of volunteers uh, already. But I have a website, shiftforsenate.com, so make sure and check that out. And also, spend some time on the Internet. You know, Don't take my word for the fact that I predicted all this stuff. Research it yourself. Go on Google. Go on YouTube. There's hundreds and hundreds of hours of television shows and speeches that I've made and, and things that have been written about me. It's all there. I have a, a record of writing and forecasting that goes back for a decade, and it's all online. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. Um, now, Henry, uh, you're, you're